Okay, hello, um, this is an address to Scanner Dana and to Diagnose Dan um, about your recent video subjects about how incompetent um, the mechanical trade seems to be getting. Now, I would tend to agree with you and I would tend to disagree with you and what I want to do is outline some of the problems that, that we encounter without uh, making us look bad because um, these days things are getting crazy yeah I work for a main dealership a main truck dealership although I tend to be in my own little uh, world of doing semi trailers because I'm an uh, expert at it well I'm an expert in my own little world I deal with what I deal with and I also have to deal with a lot of other people's crap as well yeah so uh, I've been in this trade let's say 25 27 years okay it's nearly on 30 because I used to be a motorhead before I decided to be a, a technician and there's been a lot of changes okay it's not just in the technology that we're presented with on a uh, daily basis that's changing but also the way things are run yeah now we have to deal with a lot of fleet um, operators with trucks vans um, uh, Land Rovers platforms, you name it, shit tankers even, and um, they have in the last few years have gone over to centralised uh, hubs. So what you're you're doing, you're dealing with people on the end of a telephone. Yeah, you're also dealing with people who want things done yesterday, right? That can you just do this? Can you just do that? Now because we're a retail garage, we've got to make sure that all the processes are there, that the paperwork's done. Uh, things are done in time uh, and possibly quicker than in time and the vehicles are safe to go out on the road and they're, they're running properly yet yeah. and uh, what you find is that there is an incredible amount of pressure on us okay we have to first of all when it comes to diagnosis is, is find the faults report them, price them up, then approach the customer via a service manager or workshop manager and get them to then agree a price and then we have to work to that price. So we have to hopefully get it right first time. Yeah, and then once the vehicle's been repaired that goes out and doesn't come back. Yeah. Now the, the other things that have changed in the last few years is the way the trade is viewed. We're not heroes anymore. In fact, it's just a shit job. It's a shitty job, yeah. And uh, I did a little bit of teaching maybe about five years ago. Um, I got put in a position where um, I was there uh, working for a company who considered that mechanics is right at the bottom of the food chain you know you're getting guys that are desperate because they have no jobs they've got no future yet you know you train them up to be a mechanic they'll be okay so most of them don't actually make it through and the ones that do if they shine a bit have attitudes yeah and they tend to bring this along with them um, in the case of uh, where I work now, the guys are selected on uh, apprenticeship programs, uh, they're brought in, they're educated uh, in a special college, um, they're given, um, they've got the red carpet rolled out for them. Um, but they're still, when they get chucked in at the deep end, now they are getting chucked in at the deep end, they're getting to the point where they're not working with a guy as an apprentice, they're actually working on their own at times and they're left with a problem to solve because we just literally do not have the manpower um, to, to be able to uh, pamper and to educate properly and this is, this is one of the key things is, is education, training and support and it's not just, uh, not just what I see, I see this on um, the Facebook forums that um, there, there's not enough fitters to go around yeah mechanics technicians there's not enough to go around at all um, so we're finding that we're either having to turn work away or work longer hours or do things as quick as we can to get stuff out back on the road to the operators happy and the other thing is the customer obviously doesn't want to pay they don't want to pay the money for for the services rendered for instance diagnostics they don't consider that as, as time spent um, they want to just pay for the parts as cheap as possible if they can supply their own on some cases they do and then you'll find the awkward ones that when they the paperwork's wrong they won't pay the bills yeah so that adds extra pressure to us yeah um, with regards to modern technology it's always changing we see changes um, with the products that we have to deal with the trucks we have to deal with 
especially with the uh, this is a Packard MX engine for instance um, they uh, they have uh, Euro 6 now which is been a change recently from Euro 5 and Euro 4 yeah the different um, fueling strategies and emission strategies along comes new technology now with the manufacturers they don't test everything get everything all the paperwork done what they do is they, they get the, the stuff that's that's working then they'll give it to us put it out on the road and then we have to deal with it okay so we have like two guys that are specialists at this they do the diagnostics on the trucks they can be kicking the they could be uh, banging their heads for a while trying to work out a problem okay they're not the garage is not getting paid for it uh, and until they get to the the bottom of things they then have to report back to um, to HQ uh, which then they formulate uh, uh, information which is passed amongst the dealerships that happens in every dealership and uh, other guys that are watching this will know this um, that, that basically we're on the front line so um, we're solving problems uh, for other guys yeah now um, that's all good and dandy, yeah. Uh, if you've got the time of day, if you're getting paid enough to make it exciting. Um, finding the, the, the pay uh, gap nowadays is getting ridiculous, okay. Um, being a technician, yeah, okay. We get paid more than somebody would stacking shelves in the supermarket, but sometimes when you take into consideration the tools you have to buy, yeah and the time you have to spend in your own time learning extras is sometimes it's just not worth it yeah and there is a lot of uh, uh what we just say the moral morale of the whole trade is slipping rather badly okay um it, do it doesn't help really when we don't get the support um youtube okay it doesn't matter so much uh, people like myself that always want to learn I, I look at your videos for instance uh, paul and uh, dan and I think, yeah, God, that's a bit of a laugh, actually, you know. Dan's uh, last video on the guy who diagnosed a turbo when it was actually uh, f uh, fuel in the, uh, in the oil um, with regards to the uh, fuel pump leaking. Yeah, okay, we've, we've seen this, we've been there, we've done that. And, you know, but the guy who was writing the paperwork up, did he really want the job or was he stacked out with work? You don't know the history behind what this, this guy is going through. He might well be uh, a newbie. And he might have just been chucked into Volkswagen uh, work and uh, given a job that he's not capable of and he's just blood off some bullshit um, to get rid of it and then get on with the other things he can do. Yeah, and um, I do actually see this. Guys don't want to take on problems if they don't have time. I mean, you know, we are problem solvers. As men, we are problem solvers. And, uh, you know, you chuck a problem to a guy who's got the time and he's uh, got the enthusiasm he'll get it done and then he'll sing about it and tell everybody else if he's not and he's under pressure um, to to get the workload finished then <clears throat> what you'll find is he's gonna he's gonna run away from it yeah he's gonna say, give us some bullshit on the paperwork and go yeah that you know that's how much that's going to cost the customer's not going to pay that they'll go somewhere else yeah um you know so um just i just want to add this um in our defense okay um, I know we've got some scallywags in the trade and uh, you know sometimes you look at the whole thing as this is just one big circus with your clowns and your acrobats but um, you yeah, know the customer is sometimes is, is uh, to blame as well they go telling stories and fibs yeah obviously when you get the proof and you looked at something and you found that they've uh, completely done the wrong jobs and charge the customer then yeah that's 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 beyond their their pay grade for for their capabilities really isn't it yeah um but the the guys are probably in their defense they're probably on their own you know uh, they don't have support um we have a workshop manager we have a service manager and they're the front they're the front line to the customer for us and uh, what i'll do is i'll tell you a little story yeah um, this was a tanker uh, which was carrying effluent, came in, and it had loose U-bolts uh, on, on rear axle, okay, a heavy, heavy trailer. The U-bolts were done up, and what, it, what the warning was, was to take the vehicle and unload it, um, because the vehicle had come in at night time, um, the, they wanted to, to dump this effluent, so the U-bolts the were tightened up. It was, it was sent off to be unloaded and then to, to be brought back. 
Now what happened is that it hadn't been brought back, the message hadn't been passed on to whoever in the, their little uh, communications hub and we found that the trailer had been out for two weeks and the U-bolts had come loose again even though they were warned they needed to be changed and it ended up causing damage okay so when we've come to deal with it you've then got the customer screaming that we've caused the problem yeah this is where the service manager who uh, who is rather uh, he's teflon coated he can slip out of anything he's had to to, to find a compromise with the uh, customer um, to to deal with this because it's at the end of the day it's their fault they didn't bring it back to us if the u-bolts had been changed and talked up they never would have come on, uh, loose again and it wouldn't have damaged the the axle components okay but what you've got is a uh, customer wanting the garage to pay yeah and the garage the workshop don't want to pay it and of course then you've got um, customers screaming how bad this garage is and how terrible the fitters are when it wasn't actually the case yeah so i mean you know it's six of one half a dozen of another and we are we are struggling honestly uh, the technology that's 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 coming in thick and fast i've seen a lot of changes everything when uh, diesels used to have rotary pumps um, right the way through now where you've got common rail it's easier because those systems all seem to be the same you've got guys like yourselves that are on YouTube uh, where we're learning stuff as quick as possible but you'll, you'll find that a lot of workshops don't have the data uh, they don't have the workshop manuals or access to information about vehicles um, they don't have wiring diagrams and they don't really have the training on things like oscilloscopes and scanners they're just things that just chucked at you yeah and you've got to get on with it yeah so you know it who's really at fault in in this game who's really at fault is it down to the the, the technician that, that doesn't know and and has to spend the time educating himself even though he doesn't get paid for it or is it down to the garage um that's not um supporting enough or is it down to the whole industry where they they're, they're bringing this technology through for for us to deal with and we're just not being able to sometimes i'm not saying always because we can do it yeah but sometimes it, it, it comes down to like what the fuck are we dealing with here you know i don't know i don't know but um anyway thanks for the videos guys oh, this it's highly it's, it's highly amusing from one side of it but you remember you've got the general public also looking at these videos thinking what the fuck you know i'm not taking my car to a garage to do it myself yeah and Wow, I don't know. So, anyway, cheers. Peace.